Oh, that was much too high up. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Afternoon where I'm at. Anyways, um, yeah, going to be doing another game in the Chronicle. Uh, it, it's interesting with this Chronicle because if you look in the Woodland Warriors chat, this Chronicle has been played over and over again. As I've been to like game 14, game 11, uh, with some different iterations of it. But this this is just game 8 in the version that I've been doing for consistency. Uh, Orinoco, who won last time, unfortunately, is not able to make it, so I'll be taking over as Chancellor and all of that. Uh, if you like this stream, definitely consider following, which is free for you, and subscribing, which is unfortunately not free, but I would appreciate it. And if you have an Amazon account, you can, uh, an Amazon Prime account, you can link it to your Twitch account and get a free subscription each month, so I'd appreciate if you considered giving me that free subscription, if you'd be so kind. Um, I've also been doing a lot more physical tabletop streams which you can see in the past broadcast tab and on iggy kid twitch archive on youtube which is linked down below or you can just search iggy kid twitch archive four words and that has yeah all the streams i've done of that some tiny epic dinosaurs mechanica uh, i did vast let's try that out all right with that said i'm gonna bring everybody else in here i believe we're still waiting on one last person but we'll just make some small talk in the meantime here we go All right. We are live waiting on friend. Ah, okay. Okay. We have Are there any citizens in this? In I this one, Iggy? I don't remember. I think there's Don't recall if we did. I remember at the end of the last uh, game we had basically yeah. Yeah, there was one exile and three citizens or something. I don't. Yeah, I don't think that carried over, but that's. There might be. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Let me, actually, if I hit setup right here, it'll just show. Yeah. 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 Black, yellow, <laughs> and blue are all citizens. Yeah, you you guys all jumped on the citizen bandwagon. I know. Well, I just threw, I was threw me out unceremoniously. I mean, yeah, I think red took the the biggest brunt of that. Whole situation. He, he he almost won. He mm -hmm. if if I hadn't been able to if I had drawn the wrong card with the brass horse, he would have won. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is I just at the end of that I knew I couldn't win, so I kind of checked out of that game and I was like, all right, what what can I do to make the next game interesting? Right. Yep. Yep. How you guys doing? Hey. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. good. Right now. <clears throat> yeah, load in whenever you like. Uh, there are, as there will be one citizen and and two exiles, or two citizens and one exile. Yeah, as Badger was saying, basically white and red are exiles, and then all the other non chancellors are citizens. Uh, if you guys would rather, if, I can take a citizen. If if you guys would both rather be exiles, I can. I think I'd rather be in exile, but, um, yeah. Yeah, no prob. In fact, is that... I mean, I'm comfortable starting as a uh, a citizen. I know that's where I ended up at the end of last game. Okay, cool. Yeah, so just pick, um, pick black, yellow, or blue. Those are all citizens. And I'm taking Chancellor, since Orinoco isn't here to reclaim the crown. And we are doing supremacy, so that means citizens are going to be going for relics and banners. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, everybody's in. Da, 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 da. That is all correct. Confirm. Supremacy. There we go. And once it loads in, I'll bring in a bag, and we will randomize turn order. All right. Objects. Oop. I don't want to do like last time. I tried spawning in a bag way too early and it crashed everything. I'm just gonna, whoops. Nope, nope, not that. There we go. Scale it up. Big bag. There we go. And lock that. All right, and I'm just gonna grab y'all's pawns for a second. Badger, did you say you were starting uh, as a citizen, or? 
Uh, Red Did... is not a citizen. No, okay. I didn't. I I, would, I offered to start as a citizen if if you guys both wanted to be exiled. But... Gotcha. Uh, no, that can't be right. Hold on. Oh, I think it's. I think it's because it's locked. I'll help you out with the there setup. Again. There we go. Uh, yeah. Thank you. All right, we're going red, black. Well, okay, it's just <laughs> it's just clockwise, anyways. So yeah. randomizing didn't really matter. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, then actually set up the turns. Okay. Turns. We have to load. We have to load the salt flats with. Yes, yes, yes. Red. One and, uh, one and two. Yeah. Yeah, one secret, two favor on the salt flats. Come on, give me a secret. There we go. Uh, well, I'll just put these there. It'll be easier to see. Um, oh, actually, smaller empire than I realized. That's oh, that's oh. fine. That's not too bad. Then I gotta gotta start here. I'm gonna go with. Oh. Hmm. And that's sprawling rampart. Oh. Hmm. Okay. There should be secrets off there too, right? What was that? There should be secrets on the Drown City. Uh, yes. Yeah, there should be three there. Oops. Come on. Uh-oh. There we go. Actually, I should have the turn. Okay, and I'll move over to friend. Oh, and let's feed the people's favor and the darkest secret. Come on. There it is. You know, it doesn't matter often too much, but pulling stuff from bags when I have when I'm streaming is just slightly too much for my CPU for some reason. That extra pull. All right, Grand Scepter there. Put this. Let's put that down here. And then I will zoom in. Okay. Right. Wow, Drown City. Not a lot of space to for cards here really only five cards can be placed on the entire uh entire world right now mm -hmm. uh and bsp i haven't actually played with you before have you played a lot of oath i've played quite a bit though it's been well actually i played recently i played like a week or so ago okay but yeah i played quite a bit yeah I've i've only ended up really playing the games for this live stream lately i've been meaning to play more but then then there's so many so many different tabletop games out there i've been trying to get into vast which is mm. fun it's uh i can understand why it's one of the less popular ones in leader games catalog it's not bad but so much of what leader games does is so fantastic that it's like yeah it's just it's just all right <laughs> it seems like it's enough a uh, tough nut to crack it's it's a bit tricky, yeah. It, the big thing is that it's asymmetrical um, even more so than Root, because with Root you have a lot of shared things like the card, uh, the cards, and more or less similar actions. It's like, you know, mo you all move the same, you all fight the same, you're all basically going for the same goal of 30 points, whereas with Vast it's all fully different. Everybody has a totally different goal, everybody's using completely different, like, pieces and tokens and it's 
it's one of those games where it's like you basically have to make sure everybody reads the rule book because there's no way you're going to be able to teach everybody's basically playing their own separate game right uh unlike root where you can basically if someone's played root before you can hand them a new faction they can read over the board for a minute and more or less get it uh speaking of playing though it is my turn round one okay so first and foremost uh oh i forgot to grab my starting war bands here there we go okay uh yeah. I just say, hi dave i don't think we've knocked heads since the american revolutionary war so <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, I'm gonna grab the the secret here since I'm starting. Wow. There. And hmm, yeah, I'm gonna drop one guy there. I'm going to start out with a muster since supremacy game. Gonna need plenty to muster. Then I'm going to hop down to the narrow pass. Drop a couple, or eh, drop one more guy there. Actually, you know what? I'll do two. And then I'm going to muster again on Bracken. And I'm going to hop out. Hmm, it cost me everything to hop all the way out to the hinterland, so I think I'm just going to Hop to the step, and going to campaign against the bandits. Uh, I could probably go for both, but honestly, I don't really need to, so I'm just going to go for the step. So they'll get the one. I will get the... Uh, let's go. Let's just go all four for safety. Why not? And rolling. All right, ah, I Ooh. lost one, Ooh. but that's that's more than enough for my purposes. Did get that back in the bag, right? Yep. So I win that one, and we're gonna drop all three right on the step. That's my turn. Pop this right back up. Send these to order and beast, respectively. It it come on. Scroll, scroll, there we go. And that is my turn. What do you got, friend? Tricky. Let's see what or, she's Wait saying. a minute. Oh. Friend, wait a minute. This order's wrong. It should be oh. red next. Oh, well. Oh, I flipped that. Apologies. That's my fault. It is Badger's turn. Sorry, sorry if I got you excited to Problem. capitalize. I was all whipped up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I take one of these. Yep. Now what do I do? I'm gonna look at. Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of relics on the board, which makes me pretty nervous with the uh, the successor goal we have right now. Can I look at the relic before he took it? Before he takes it? If he takes it? Uh, technically, you, know you have to look at it on your Wait, turn. That's what I thought, right? Yeah. Yeah, technically it is a minor <sighs> action, so you have to have at least one act phase before you can say you would have looked at it. Yeah, that makes sense. Although often, we, we house ruler where it's just like, if you were at the site, it doesn't matter, but... Yeah. Once you've seen it, you should be able to just I, I would say I guess it's after not the, a, after the yeah. first round, that'd be pretty much right. the case. But yeah. if you haven't had okay. a I'm spending two to travel. Or I'm sorry, I'm spending two to search the world deck. I'm not traveling yet. So take them one at a time here. Mm -hmm. Okay. No visions in the top four. They were actually talking in the uh, the chat. They were talking about um, in the oath chat in the Woodland Warriors Discord. That is to say, they were talking about how a lot of people are very gun shy when it comes to the vision. Like, I don't know when to reveal it. I don't ever want to grab it if it's just on top of the deck. But like, 
a lot of times an exile will win by the vision, so it's it's more valuable than a lot of people seem to give it credit for. Yeah, I think the visions are good. It's just in terms of how much you have to do to search for them. That's true. Yeah, once you get up to like four favor, it's like four favor or not favor, uh, four supply. It's like that's that's a lot for just a vision. If you get at least one other card as an option and the vision, it's not too bad. Put that one there. And to go back out here. Uh, now I will spend two to travel. And I'm going to go to the step. Okay. Entering the Empire. I'm going to play this to the site. Ah. So I get a favor and a secret. Yeah, those homeland sites can be real, real powerful. And if I want to, I can swap it. With something. Another nomad card, right? Oh, yeah. There aren't any nomad cards, so unfortunately. Nope. That's. No, they are not. Not often very, very useful. Every now and then, though, paired with something like tents or uh, elders, that one can be pretty good. Especially if you're able to play it to a site you rule. I'm going to spend two more to search the world back again. Ah, there's the vision. Boy, I should have searched that world deck. It's probably going to get pretty expensive by the time it gets back to me. I'm going to play this one to the site for an arcane favor. I'm going to spend my last one to recover this relic. So those mm. three go to the Nomad. Map library is a really good one, especially because it doesn't especially help me, since I still would have to have my pawn there to use it. Ooh, oh. oh, that's, that's going to be interesting for supremacy. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be really good for supremacy. Oh boy, might have to take that from you. I can figure out how. <laughs> Can't really do anything else. I could flip that, but I don't want to. So I replenish. And I am done. Well, it's going to change what I do, but I still think I can get something tricky going. Uh, so I'm going to take a favor from the salt plants. Going to spend to supply. Move to the step.
Um, I'm going to reveal tense as a advisor. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to trade with the gray herd to favor. Oh, private tense. Very powerful. Uh, then I'm going to go out to the Drowned City. Yeah, uh -huh. especially powerful if you're in the Hinterland. Peek at these. Awesome. And uh, I'm going to recover both of them with my last two actions. So these four favorite get burned. Pick up Cursed Cauldron. Yeah, Cursed oh. Cauldron. I, I would have gotten that, but I wasn't in position to do it. I had no favor, so. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, and then I'll grab my secret pack. Bone down. Well, crap. Already a successor on round one. Okay, so... Um, I think... Actually, actually I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to grab one. Hmm. And then my whole plan just got ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's only vision there. I guess now I do have to search, which is not what I wanted to do. Um, so I'll search the world deck. Okay. You know, I do a lot of board game unboxings, and I was just thinking, I got a couple that I mostly play digitally on Board Game Arena, and the the thing I noticed was how surreal it was to see these things I'd only known digitally physically, and I can't imagine how that's going to feel when I get Oath. I've, I've played it so much in this way, and it's not to scale, so just seeing everything at like different sizes is going to feel a little Alice in Wonderland. Hmm. I'm looking forward to it too, especially hearing that there. Some people are finally getting their copies. Yeah, unfortunately, the U.S. is getting it last because uh, took them to a little, little longer to get the ship, but about a month now, about a month out. They said they're gonna try and fulfill the U.S. through May. All right. Well, what, uh, Roger, I'm gonna help us out because we need to do that. So I'm going to spend two and give you here. Uh, that's the planes. Mm, okay. And then oh. what do I want to do? Oh. So, I guess, actually, I just realized this is kind of weird. I didn't realize that this was in the personal one, but since it's not, I'll just put it over here. Okay. It's kind of useless, so I'll just take the favor from that. Yeah. Why not? Um, and then what else should I do? I guess I, I will say it again. No, go ahead. I was just going to tell a story. So. I will go ahead and search this discard pile. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh, Iggy. I, I got, uh, as the chancellor, I got Relic Breaker and I threw it in my advisor right away and I would just run around busting stuff up. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, yeah, that, that, was that, that would that have been really good. good. <laughs> that was my plan from the jump because that's why I was in the Drown City. I was going to destroy both of those, then move my way back. But you guys got everything before I even got to play. Um, I will go ahead and play this here for one from Beast. And I think that's going to end my turn. Um, Okay. I guess I'll just flip this up anyway. Why not? Rangers. And I didn't trade. Well, I didn't trade or anything, huh? Okay, that's my turn. Yeah, not a lot of trading so far. All right. <clears throat> I'm in a pretty good position, but I feel like I should secure it a little bit more. Um, hmm. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Well, first off, I'm going to trade. Because I am a little broke. So let's get a Nomad Favor. And let's get an Arcane Favor. Then... I'm just going to move two down here and I am going to muster on uh yeah hearth I don't think there's a lot of hearth in this particular chronicle okay and that's that's it for my turn not a lot else I can really do right now so pop that there Get my secrets back. Already refreshed my supply. On to Badger. What do I want to do? You gotta open up the world. Yeah. Show them what you made of. Do is flip this. I will spend one to trade, and I can trade at any site in the region thanks to this guy. Mm. So I will trade here for two. Oh. <sighs> Then I will travel for two. Down here. Oh. Purple Valley. Wow, I have not seen a lot of that site. Nice. What do I want to do? I gotta say, I I remember originally looking at the the Oath map and thinking it. I didn't really like the idea of having all these these cards be the sites and how much empty space and everything there was. I thought it looked a little too industrial in a way. But I've really grown to appreciate just how easy it is to read it. Like, I can immediately tell it's like, I can tell who rules what sites, what all the sites are doing. It, it just, the board state is so, so easy to read, unlike some games where it's, it's kind of chaotic. It's very clean I'm cut. Spend... It did throw me off first as well. Yeah, but I, I, think, that, I think it's good for what, what it's going for. I'm going to spend one to recover the darkest secret for two, so it just nets out it. Okay. It just nets out it, putting one on it. I'll put it over here. Ooh. 
And I will spend my last two now to search the world back. All right. Hmm. Dang. I mean, it still only costs three. It's not too bad. Well, actually, now it costs. Actually, did you pay two, or did you pay? You should be paying two. I paid it. two, but I have the darkest secret. Yeah, so. that's what I said. Yeah, it's going to cost you two to get through that. Yeah, he only had uh, the two. I left. could, I could either, I could either spend three and search it, or recover and spend. So I figured, why not recover it? Yeah. Ah, this is a tough, this is a tough choice. One. Can't use my charming friend. Could campaign against the narrow pass, but that doesn't seem like such a good idea. Um, I get my secret back. I'm done. All right. I'll just go pick up that secret then. I think I'm just going to move back to the step. Spend one to trade. Oh, actually, would you mind if I walk that back a bit? I, was, I forgot I wanted to search in the hinterlands. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Yep. I mean, you could just, uh, you could just do the search action. Just do it. Okay. Yeah. Your positioning Unless, yeah. wouldn't have been affected by it. Like, gotcha. you wouldn't be able to play anything to the Drowned City. You can't anyways. play anything to the Drowned City anyway. Yep. Right. Or the step, this step is full, full so... It's an interesting dynamic here where the citizen and the chancellor don't want to get more sites open. <laughs> yeah, at least for now. Uh, I'm going to step away for a moment. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, that's it for me. Okay. So, let's start off by trading on Beast 2.
And then I'm going to spin one to recover the people's favor. Um, this one has to go to the lowest. What's the lowest right now? I think you can. I think you can choose. Okay. So I'll put this back in beast, and then put one, two, and three. I will then spin two to travel. What did you have to? Oh yeah, just have to go to the narrow pass. So I travel to the narrow pass. And two. I will then think. All right, I'm back. So I will then trade in with East. And then I will recover this relic. The map. Um, and that pretty much does it for me. I return back here and take back my secret. All right, round three. Ooh, I have quite the turn planned here. All right. Going to drop favor on wild allies to muster. Then I'm going to... Ooh, wait. Can I? Hmm. Not quite yet, but uh, yeah, we're going to going to move down here. Then I'm going to flip Key to the City. Play it to Fertile Valley. Which means that I killed the one bandit there. But the ruler's pawn is at the site, isn't it? Ah, crap, you're right. Whoops, I forgot. Yep. Uh, well, okay, in that case, rather than move... I'll just play it up at the plains, which will do the same thing. And gets me a uh, a favor that I'm immediately going to use to muster. Whoops, come on. Come on, there we go. And I'm going to drop couple guys right on there. All right. That will be... Will that be my turn? You know what? I may as well search. Since... Well, no, I should bank that. I don't have very much supply left, so... Banking to supply. And dropping, dropping these back down. And... That is my turn. 
Ah, I forgot that about Key to the City, so that, that definitely changes my plans a bit, but I still still have an idea what I'm going to do. Pay two to see the vision. Okay. Pay two or pay three? Oh, you have the darkest secret. Okay. Thank you for your service. Oh yeah, with somebody the gets, secret. That's not too bad. Somebody gets to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I guess. Two to search the world deck again. Will you find what you are looking for? Oh, right. That's why I have so few warbands in my supply. Citizen. Got them, all. <laughs> got them all there, and then he's got three. I played that there. Ooh, Spirit Snare. Classic. I get a supply from Arcane, or a favor from Arcane, rather. Um... I'm going to spend I'm going to spend one to muster there that's more war bands There's not a lot I can do, so I'm going to I'm going to bank this last supply and end my turn. Goes to Arcane. Yeah, yeah. I think I am going to Let's see. I'm gonna trade. Pick up one of those arcane favors. Uh, I'm gonna spend move two to move into the hinterland. Mm. Say over here. Berry Ooh. Giant. Oh, Berry Giant's great. Doesn't it also ignore the narrow pass? It ignores the narrow pass. Yes, it does. Oh boy. Well that changes that changes a lot. Yeah. I mean if you're going from the hinterland to the, the cradle, I guess. 
I mean, yeah. You still have I to mean, pay the supply cost, right? Uh, well, and no, no supply and ignore the igno and ignore the narrow pass. Really? Yeah. So it's basically all you need to do is spend a secret, and you can when when save. traveling. I don't think that applies if you campaign. You uh, still have yeah, you'll still have to pay to campaign over there, but like to get yep. to the the uh, salt flats instead of the five it would take from the hinterland, it'll only take uh, a secret now. Secret. Yep. Wow. In any case, I'm going to take my last supply here to recover this uh, and burn a secret. Oh, you're burning your last secret? Yep. <laughs> for better or for worse. Oh, wait. Whose uh, secret is this on map library? Oh, no, that's mine. I still have oh, one. Okay. Okay. Whew. I've made that mistake before. It's You're basically just dead in the water for the rest of the game. Uh, but that's my turn. I will take my Three. secret back. Three, okay. First mm -hmm. match in. I need to get me some advisors. My trades aren't doing much for me. Oh, that's no... You guys are not paying the beast enough attention. <laughs> um... This is like the first game in the Chronicle Beast hasn't been very present. It's usually all over the place in this one. I'm trading, trading for this one. I had to put one on. That's why I had to put one on the on the people's favor. Trade for that one. Mm. Um. Then I, I must have will... done that while I was away for a minute. Okay, I didn't even realize you had the people's favor. Search. Yep. Yeah. He, yeah. He grabbed it when you were when you stepped away for a minute. Hmm. Yeah. That changes my plans too. Hmm. Oh, this is not coming together the way that I hoped. Okay, I will then spend one to travel. And then, so here's a question. Yeah. On my next turn, can I use the favor from the salt flats to pay the people's favor? I... Hold on a moment. Uh, I believe there's a specific order here. Let's see. It says wake, and then the salt flats specifically at the end of your wake phase. So no, unfortunately, it has to be the last thing you do in wake is grabbing that. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. So I'll play this to the site for one from Nomad. Mm. And then I will muster.
And with the one remaining, I think I will bank that to go back to full supply. Okay. That goes back to Nomad, and this comes back to me. That's right. All right, round four. Man, a lot less campaigning than I expected. Maybe I'm too much of a threat. I did really fortify the Empire as much as I could right off the bat. Um, yeah, they're just too big. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what to do here? I am going to start off... Hold on, let me see. If I search, trade... Search trade. Mm. Okay, I am going to. Uh, I am going to move down south to the Fertile Valley. Then I'm going to search the discard and hopefully get a hearth so I can get an extra favor here. Hey, there we go. Rowdy mm -hmm. Pub. And... Whoops, whoops, come on. Bit, it, whip. Out to there. Out to there. Get it, get in the discard. There you go. And I'm going to use Spirit Snare. Take one from... Hmm, take one from Order, I guess. And... I'm going to... Well, do I want to search again? Feels a bit wasteful. You know what? I think I might bank it again. How much do I have? Five? Yes, I'm going to bank those two. Once again. Then I'll take my secret back. And that will be my turn. What to do, what to do? Where's the other vision? Is it in the provinces still? Yeah, right? Uh, I, think... I think it's out in the hinterland. Is it? I'm not yeah, sure. You're allowed to check. Um, you're not allowed to see the, the faces of the cards, but you're allowed to see the backs of the cards. Yeah, so as long as you don't get them mixed up. It's okay. I'll, we'll figure it out. It'll come yeah. back up. It's one thing that's going to be a lot easier in real life. Yeah, that uh, cleanup, because right now it's like slowly drag this favor, slowly drag the secret. In real life, it's just going to be bop, 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 done. Cool. Or muster, muster is going to be so much I'm faster. I'm going to use the spirit snare for one. From I'm going to take it from Nomad. And then I'm going to burn a supply right away to muster at the Rowdy Pub. Yeah. I was nervous about that. I think, I think it'll be all right. I'm hoping it'll be all right. Could have been my downfall. Although, even with the bandit crown right now, you cannot, you cannot remove, um, you cannot take the Oath Keeper without campaigning against at least one of my sites. One of yours, yep. Yes, that is correct. Um...
Man, I'm seeing a lot of new cards in this one that I haven't run into. I'm going to spend two to move to the narrow pass. And I'm going to spend two to search the world deck. Wow, still no vision, huh? Yeah, a little buried down there. Hmm. Okay, I'm two. Use the Bracken to discard all three, or I'm going to discard the, the vision. And I'm going to play that face down. And I'm going to discard all three of these to the bottom of the cradle. Okay. Okay, I'm going to flip this face up. Whoop. Oh, you, got the, <laughs> you got that too. Whoops. All right. Um, Field promotion. Ooh. I'm going to spend my last two to campaign just against the narrow pass. Just the narrow pass. Okay. No problem. So I'm going to get three dice, one for the Narrow Pass, one for Oathkeeper, and one for Sprawling Rampart. Yep. And I will get, I will use all eight, and I will activate my field promotion. Okay. Where do you want to roll them for the stream? Let's, let's do them just up here. Just I think right, this will right where they are. Enough. Okay. Yeah. Get these two out here. All right. Whenever you're ready. There we go. And I got four, seven. I got a whole bunch. You got, yeah, you got more than me. So you lose the two. I have to but you lose get the, the two. Get the place. But I, I'm going to get one back for net one because of the field promotion. Oh, right. Right. Oh, boy. So... I will drop two on there for now. Okay, and that, yeah, that makes you Oath Keeper. That makes me the Oath Keeper. Nice work. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, well. And that was my last two. Nothing stomping some bandits can't fix. That's true. Uh, can't do anything else, so I have five in the bag here. This goes to the order boys. Secret back. And that goes to the rowdy pub. Oh, what a turn. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, I think I'm going to spend one to use my tents. Travel to the last spot of the hinterland. So one thing I really appreciate about um about Oath is how solid the combat feels. A lot of people, when they hear like, oh, you can't really do much uh, on someone else's turn if they're attacking you, a lot of people are like, well, that doesn't sound very fair, but in reality, it just means that you have a very good idea of whether or not you're going to be able to do a campaign. There's not very much luck or anything, so you you know exactly how strong your defense needs to be, and you know how strong your attacking force needs to be to have a good enough shot to maybe win. And there's still right. luck, but it's luck that feels more ac accountable. Now, if I'm reading this right, the Deep Woods, if you play a beast card here, you just get a, ru a relic? You get yep. this relic. That's correct. You don't get oh, the... you get that one. Okay. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm still focused on just hanging on to the Empire, but I can tell it's going to be tricky taking Successor away from you. Chancellor's got a lot on their plate, you know? It's true, for now, for now. I'll just say it because Red's not going to get another turn before that. I'm going for that Bandit Crown. So if I can get that and hang on to it, then the Empire is, is all-encompassing, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's just with those three dice, and now he has so much on his board. It's tricky. I think I'm going to spend two to search the hinterlands. No beast cards. Sorry. I really should have gotten some advisors by now. I'm not in a great position for trading. Spend two here. Travel to the Fertile Valley. Then I'm going to muster. Grab three war bands. You know, you get so used to the cards you see often that you can forget how delightful some of this artwork is. This little ghost guy on Special Envoy, love him. He's great. Uh, I'm going to use the Spirit Snare. Grab from... Ten. And I'll just bank that last one. Nice. Up to full. Which I think that's the thing I like most about having gotten vast is the miniatures are just basically 3D renderings of 
uh, Cal Farren's artwork. They, they're they gorgeous. I haven't played with them because I got the one that has all the wooden bits and they're a little easier to actually play with, but just having those miniatures is really nice. Yeah, that does sound pretty cool. Okay. Roger, this is the one time I'm going to do this for the world deck. So I hope that you can, if I don't get the vision, I hope you will do us the favor of activating visions, okay? Okay. I probably will. But I think you're going to get one. Hey, there, go. it is. there it is. Um, oh, sorry, I had to pay for the people's favor. Oh, yeah. I don't actually have a favor. And then you get yourself flats, right? Yeah, and I get myself flat. That's right. Yeah. Um... Do, 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 do. So I'll muster. Something. Oh no, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, no, I guess I still I do need to muster. I have to muster. Sorry, listed that one. One. Two. And then I will trade. And I think I'll spend the last or my last supply to search again from this discard. That's going to be my turn. This goes to order. This comes back to me. I go back down to here. Ooh, scary. And that's it. Okay. Round five. Ah, uh, hopefully this works out. All right, I'm going to start out by using Spirit Snare. And I will take from Hearth, because I'm about to pay quite a bit to Hearth. 
We're going to go there to muster. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Shoot, I thought comes. there was more in the bag. That's fine. Then... Your local citizen is draining the bag. True. <laughs> true. Not nearly as bad as you did last time. Yeah, that was... I don't think I forgot. Yeah. Um... If you're gonna be in a knife fight, you gotta bring a lot of knives. True. All right, then I'm gonna spend two, hop up to the narrow pass, and campaign against Red for the Bandit Crown. So I am going to use all uh, nine dice. And I have four. Three and one for the Oath Keeper. Oh, you do have Oath Keeper. Yep, yep, I think, um, yep, mm, yeah. It's it's going to be tight, but I, I I have an okay chance. And then you have to, you have to campaign against the site also. Oh, I do. Uh, yeah. You want to, if you want to rewind it, that's fine with me. No, this is my plan for the yep. turn. So this That's is, your plan, I'm, yeah. I'm yep. going for it. Here we go! Come on, roll a bunch of blanks. Okay, no times twos. That's that's decent enough. Uh, all right, so you got six, six eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 15. twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I lose two, so I gotta sacrifice six. Which you can do. I can do, yes. Oh, that yeah, very close. I do not have a lot of other warbands, but that's fine, honestly, considering I wanted to uh, fill this bag back up as best I could anyways. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to drop a thing on the site, and I take Oathkeeper back. Because now I rule every site except the narrow. So I have to lose. No, I, I rule every site. Cool. I lose four. Uh, you lose nine. Nine seven, divided by nine. two. Drop the fraction. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You lose four. Okay. Well done. Ooh, yeah. That was that was close. Could have gone very very poorly. Um, but the the roll was in more or less in my favor. Okay. So I'm just going to bank this supply, hop back up to here, and then clean up the board. So red, now you may retaliate, if you so wish. So wish, so wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. How do I want to do this? Then one to muster. Supply to be too fancy. So I'll spend I'll spend two to campaign and try to take the bandit crown back. All right. So yeah, let's see. I get three for that, one for Oathkeeper, one for the site, and an extra one for sprawling ramparts. So that's six dice. I have seven. One, two, three. 
Yes. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Uh, because you had Bandit Crown during that last campaign, you had one... You had the Bandit Warband as well that's just printed on the board, so I would have needed to sacrifice all of them. Oh. But since I have the Bandit Crown, I still rule this site. So still it just rule. has one. Yep. So. Okay. And I can't use my Battle Honors because I don't have the money for it. So. Unfortunately. All right. Whenever you're ready. Here we go. Give me those times twos. Oh, oh, there's two of them already. Good. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's 20. That's already 20. <laughs> that's fairly unfortunate. So, ouch. So I lose three. Uh, yes. And I don't get the bandit crown. Don't get anything. Yeah, that was a tough one. I, yeah, I'm still glad. Like, that's the big thing, is, like, even though I won, you could have very easily gotten that campaign back in your favor. I could have. But I didn't, so... It's a, it's a matter of balancing not only being able to win, but then also being able to win with enough left over to defend what you just won. All right, I'm going to spend... One to move up here. I'm going to flip this guy over. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to spend one to trade there for favor. Yeah. I'll get and you, I will use... they'll actually get you three because you also have um field promotion. Oh, I do have field promotion. Yes, I do. Um, and then I'm out of supply. I don't rule anything, but I can use this guy to run away somewhere, which I think I will do. I'm going to run away all the way out here. Uh, I'm going to sneak peek at this. And when using that, that's the end of your act phase. So my secret back goes to the beast bank. My plan is in shambles, and I am done. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yep. Now, now it is friend's turn, and he's he's the next threat for me with those three relics. Yeah, and you're sitting on two, so you only need one more to. Yeah, but I can't. I can't really take the people's favor. It's pretty expensive, and I can't really do the darkest secret because I don't have any advisors to trade for more secrets. I can't believe you have no advisors. That's I know. Crazy. I just. I don't know. I keep searching for them, and then I forget that's what I'm here for, and I just play it to a site instead. <laughs> play. You were looking for money on the one, so that's why you dropped that one. Yeah. Well, to, I I don't know. I yeah, just, I, yeah. That's got to be my next goal. Get it. Get at least a lot of, a lot of plates spinning. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, I uh, you can stop that with a tie because if I if I had to have more than you, then I I don't know if I'd be able to manage that. But there's a slim chance I can at least come up to a tie. Although it might end on this round, so who knows. Yep. It's not going to end. <laughs> uh, one in six. It's not as unlikely as you think. Although, t to be fair, I've played, I think, close to 30 games of this, and it's only ended on the six once, so... Maybe this so you're saying it's due? Don't you don't want it to be you don't want it to be due. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Maybe this digital die is weighted. Uh okay, so since the chance are rules, I can drop off a, a warband here, right? Yep, yeah. You can drop them off at any site. 
Well, you're gonna do you a solid. That's a bandit site, or is that the, the chancellor site? Uh, that's a I chancellor think... because I have the bandit crown, so yeah. all of the bandit sites are mine as well. But does that mean that I don't know if you can drop off if it's a bandit owned? You can, yeah. One. With the bandit, oh, yeah. with the bandit crown, effectively all of the printed bandit warbands count as your warband. So effectively, there's one purple warband on all of the sites that are empty. So does that mean that somebody can campaign against the bandit sites? Yeah, but you'd be campaigning against yeah. me. So from your, I'm saying from one of your worlds, from one of your locations, they can campaign against the bandit yes. site? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Cur right now, effectively, all of the sites that have no warbands on them, consider them to all have one purple warband. And if you attack yeah. any of the sites, you can attack any of the other sites along with it. Got it. <laughs> but right I, now, you can attack ev everything from anywhere. I rule the entire world. A sprawling empire. So if it ends, the board state is set. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just need to drop drop a purple warband. Yeah, put a, put a purple warband on there to save them. Yep. I think I'm going to spend two supply. I, I was thinking about how I could do my tents, but I realized I have more than enough supply to just walk over there. Yeah. Um... Gonna reveal rain boots. Oh, I haven't seen that one in a while. And I'm gonna spend one to trade for secrets. Two. Oh no. Oh no, we I know, know where this is going. Fine. Yes, we know. We all know where it's going. Yeah, and then I am going to recover the darkest. Secret. No. Which I... Ah, great. Am I allowed to? Because uh, you don't have any advisors. Uh, yeah. Yeah, as long as they're. Wait. No, no. Actually, incorrect. There has to be at least one advisor that doesn't match. So as long as he's yes. at a site yeah. that has so... nothing, he's nothing. safe. Yep. Okay, I'll take that supply yep. back. And. Uh... I, I thought you were going and dropping and. Yeah, you do have enough that you could probably hop over there and drop something at the site that would open it up yeah if if i had the right card but unfortunately i do not Oof. in that case i will do something else uh There's still one more vision in the deck. True. Two. Two more Two visions. Them, yeah. I think I will travel over there, but I am going to just uh, recover the deep woods. Okay. Relic. So I'll just burn those two I just got. It protects you from mosquitoes. <laughs> Book of Records. Book of Records. Yeah. We're covering it clean. All right, and then I'm going to reveal the Pied Piper. Mm. And I'm going to use it to take some favor from... The only guy that's got any. No, take it from the chancellor. I mean, honestly, yeah, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> he, he wants an advisor. You want the I'd, advisor, yeah. advisor. I'd appreciate yes. the advisor, honestly. Yeah, it seems like a fair shake to me. All right, and I'll just bank that last one, that last supply, so that'll go down to here. I'll clean up. And uh, since I'm here, I'm going to drop off another warband at the Deep Woods. Mm. And... 
That should do it for me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I am. Hold on. How much money does everybody have? I'm not. I'm not going to pay the people this time. <laughs> Sorry, folk. Um, that will go to order. Beast or order? You get to pick. Order. And I will flip this one, which is longbows. Nice. Mm. Um, I will then trade with longbows. I mean, trade with the rampant to get order. Take this money back. I will then, oh, sorry, I've been, that was one. That was my first was trade, and then I will muster. Beat him. Beat him. <laughs> and oh, nine. then oh, boy. I will campaign. I will be activating both um, all rangers have to pay for and um, I will activate longbows. So, okay. That's okay. So, going to... uh, before you do that, let's figure out how many dice to see if rangers will actually activate. Uh, so, let's see. Where all are you campaigning? Just Salt Flats? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm campaigning at this site, and then I'm campaigning the whole Hinterlands. And then the I, think I, also need to do, I think I also need to do the the Fertile Valley to be able to take everything from you. Okay, right, so I get one. Take... I get five from the board. Five dice. Plus each, so that's ten. Plus oh, this eleven. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I forgot about that. Ah. Yeah, you might okay, not want to. Still, that is. If you really want to do this, you still have one extra supply. You could move down to the narrow pass. That would save you from fighting. The oh, warriors. actually, yeah. you do have to attack the narrow pass as well because you are attacking in this region, and I rule both. All right, let's. All right, let's so back that, up and let me think through. That means I would get thirteen uh, dice if you if you go uh, through with this. Hold on. If I go to the narrow pass for one, and now campaign. Okay. Well, you can camp fewer because he's going to. The sprawling rampart always applies, or uh, it applies to all the sites I rule. Right. Oh so, man. Oh so wow. That, so then you yeah. could you could in theory not attack as many and still be able to activate rangers. If right, you, but yeah. you're trying you to take the oath away, out. away. But I'm trying means... to keep. From, I'm trying to keep from the oath keeper. Oh, like right, right. So, yeah, I was, that was the first thing. But I'm not going to be able to do that. So now I will just say that he's not going to roll a six, and it's fine. And so it's what do I really want yeah. to? I mean, you could. You could I've already played my hand. <laughs> you could go against some of them. Like, just keep in mind, it's like yeah, you could. If you, you could like, weaken me, then this. red will probably come at me even stronger. But yeah. getting all five in one campaign is going to be real difficult. Yeah. So I'll do, well, actually, I'm going to move. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go back here. Right. So that I'm actually here. I will. Well, you'd be, you'd have two left for the campaign. Right. Right. Uh, this, this has to be sufficient. That's the thing. Yeah. You, I think you're right here because you moved and then campaigned. Oh, that's true, yeah. So yeah. You're all set. Um, uh, I forgot to read Rampart. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really good, know. especially in a supremacy game. Um hmm. So that'll be one, two.
If I do three, that'll be six dice, and then one for the Oath Keeper. Seven. Mm-hmm. But nothing defending it. Well, no one. War, I mean, there's still they each well, have one, one. one each, Yeah, 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 yeah. But no big defense. So no extra defense, I should say. Yeah. Just keep in mind if you attack, uh, if you're going to do it in the cradle, you're going to have to include the narrow pass no matter what. Right. Yeah. Yes. So. I'm not sure, actually. Um, if you declare any targets in this region and your pawn is in a different region, you must target this. I don't, it, it doesn't read that it applies to outside yeah. the cradle. Uh, what? Let's like, if see. you're attacking from outside the cradle into the cradle, you have to target the narrow pass, but if you're in the cradle targeting outside the cradle, you don't have to target the narrow well, pass. Yes, but he has to target the site he's at, which is in the cradle. But his pawn is in the cradle. Yeah. So it, he doesn't rule the narrow pass. He's attacking a site in the region, so he has to also attack the narrow pass. I think you're right, yeah. I'm going to move to the narrow pass. Oh, no, but then I have to attack your pawn, right? Oh, you have nothing on your board. When, no, when campaigning, yeah. you have nothing on your board. It's a different region. You must target this site. So... One, two, three, that's six. Ah, uh, wait, seven. okay, I see. I didn't realize. Yes. So yeah. since his pawn is in the region, the narrow pass doesn't apply. Yes. Never right. mind. So yeah, oh, so you can just attack the salt flats if you'd prefer. The nice thing about the salt flats is you get rid of... Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, so all right, let me do that campaign here. I'm going to just go for the salt flats. And one more. Which one? Which one? Nothing. Well, I guess I should do any of these activate outside of there. No. Yeah. No. You have no battle plans on the board. There's nothing like nothing that I can really get that I want. All right, I'm going to just do um, Berry Giant. Okay, Salt Flats so, and Berry Giant. Salt Flats and Berry Giant, that's four. Yeah. And then you get one for Oath Keeper, so that's five. That's correct. And then, okay, yeah, you then get I... plus three uh, to, I'm guessing you're doing all nine? Well, I want to do, I'm not sure if I'm doing well now. I'm trying to figure out with the Rangers and Longbows. Rangers is going to give me two. Longbows is going to give me three. And it's, you're rolling just five. So I might roll six. Okay. And then get. Yeah, six. And then, no, oh, sorry, six and then get three. Yeah. 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 Then I'll activate for three. Yeah. Okay. And then, yes, so Barry Giant has one of my warbands, and this effectively has four. So that's an added five to whatever I roll. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, mm -hmm. let's do it. There we go. Okay, I got. Four nine. So Do you got I have to lose two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you only have to lose uh you lose those two and then you'll have to lose one more to win. Yeah. Oh actually you don't lose those two because you did Rangers. Let's ignore oh, yeah, your right. skulls. Yeah. So yeah. you only lose one. Sorry. And yeah, you get all of those sites. Yes. Just two. So I still have the Oath Keeper, but yeah. yeah. And because that was... Uh, I, one of these back. Well, only yeah, one of them gets get killed. It's rounded down. Yeah. yeah. And I will put... Um, 
two, and then one, two, and the buried giant. And then I will use um, Special Envoy to zip myself to the buried giant. Wait a minute, yeah. To the, zip, to the buried giant. Sure. And then bank this lack supply. I'm at there, so I go back to here. This goes to Nomad. This goes to Beast. And this comes back to me. Okay. Okay. So still Oath Keeper, so we're going to roll the die. Which would mean that friend would win. So here we go. Let's see it. It's two. No. Round six. Nice. Or, yeah, round six. Okay. Uh. Let's see, what do I want to do now? Um, I'm going to start out, drop the two of these guys here at the narrow pass for safety. Then I'm going to use Spirit Snare to grab one from Hearth. And then I'm going to trade those two with Bracken to get another secret. Then I'm going to hop over to where do I want to go? Uh, to the step, actually. And I'm going to use map library to trade with wild allies. And with oh, uh, relic breaker. So that's all of my supply. I hop up to 10. I get all three secrets back. And I will get these over to Beast while Badger takes a turn. I've been waiting all day to do this. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Charming friend. Oh, what is that? Thank do you. Again? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nobody's really been at your sights. <laughs> Nobody likes the charming friend. That's the <laughs> that's the irony of the card. True um, ironic. I'm going to spend Then two to travel to the Fertile Valley. I will spend one to muster at the Rowdy Pub. I will spend two to campaign. Well, first I'm going to do this. And I will take it from Nomad. Then I will spend two to campaign against the Fertile Valley and the Drowned City. Okay, so that gets me three with the Oathkeeper. 
Oh, and the sprawling ramparts that should boost you up to five. Uh, would, nope. but that got taken away. Anymore. Oh, you don't rule it anymore. Oh, yeah. Way. Um, so, can I? Am I allowed to help out with battle plans, or like as an ally, is, I, or do I have to be at the site? I believe you would. Uh, hmm, that's a good question. I don't have the rules right now. Uh, Let me. See. I think you have to be at a site, just like you can't use the war bands on your board unless you're at the yeah. site. That you feels can right join an ally if their pawn is at a targeted site or at the site of the attacker's pawn. Mm. I gotcha. Okay. okay. Yep. And then you have to be an ally to use battle plans. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So yeah, I get the three, and then you may yep. activate. And I will plans. use I will use my field promote. I'll activate field promotion. Okay. And I'm guessing you're using all seven. Yep. All right. Yeah. Get those out of there. All right, whenever you're ready. That was just a drop. Right. Come on, times two. Uh, two plus the three that's all at five. So, yeah, you are... Three, four, just five, six. Roll. So, I have to kill... I have to kill one, but then I gain two, or I gain three, so that's an... Because I'm stupid. I kill one, then I gain three back. Ah, okay. Then I will place... Ah, my kingdom is crumbling! Tell will definitely hold Oath Keeper, though. That's true. I mean, I would say, if you can, friend, get over to the Salt Flats, and or even just get up to the Buried Giant, and attack like if you can get the ramparts back that will really shore up our defenses yeah i'm with you see anything else that i can do with my one supply i am done i my secret back all right, I, back. I'm going to step this away for a second again. There, this so goes right there. Back. I have five in the bag, so I go up to nine. Right. I suppose I will contribute to the Empire if I have to. <laughs> you don't really have to. <laughs> don't listen to the Chancellor. Not really your friend. You know, I, I, I definitely hear what you're saying. All right, I am going to I think I'm going to search first off from
right, and I'm going to play Fabled Feast to the Deep Woods. So if I'm understanding this right, I get one hearth coin just for playing it. And then we'll get two total in favor. Uh -huh. uh, assuming I count for ruling it, even though I'm a citizen. You get three because Fabled Feast also counts. Uh -huh. Where's the third one? I, I count Fabled, two. One Fabled Feast. Fabled Feast itself counts. And yeah, then, but Rowdy uh, Pub, we don't. Oh, oh, I yeah, I own that. I'm I'm so used to the Empire ruling everything. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two then. That's two. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll take it out of Arcane. Oh, why you want to do that? <laughs> don't do that. I know it's a favorite. Just because I was taking your Nomad stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then I'm going to use one of those for my tents. Move up to the Berry Giant. Um, then I'm going to flip my secret over to travel to the Salt Flats. And then I'm going to muster. And then I am going to campaign against just the salt flats. That's just one uh, die. You get yes, one one die. You get two because you get third. And then yeah, from scrolling rampart. Yeah, scrolling and then rampart. you got to use your battle yeah. plans. Yeah. Okay, so I've got two to start. How many are you using? Um, I'll be using all seven of my warbands, and I'll be using my Cursed Cauldron, okay. which only applies when I win. So then the Longbow makes it six. Six, six instead of six, yeah. All right, I am back. Just in time for a campaign, sounds uh, like. Six then? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Got a stooge going after me. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. So six to two, yeah? Yep. Uh, okay. It looks that way to me. Yeah. You have two? Are you using longbows? Or I'm yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is you one, yeah. One, two, three. So should I be rolling five then? Five, yeah. I thought you said yeah, seven. I thought you said seven. Yeah, yeah five. Yeah. So, I think yeah. I counted wrong. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll roll five. Five should still be pretty safe. We need a two times two. Here's we here we go. Two All right, let's two. do it. Ready? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, you called it. Four, okay, so oh. five six. Uh, all right, so that's five versus six. So you got to get rid of two, friend. All right, and I got to lose one just for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so only half. Playing. That's not too bad. All right, you said I got to drop two. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, you got I'll five, he's got six, so. Yeah. And then you're going to use the cauldron? Yep, so I think I just get two back, right? Uh, oh, how does cauldron work again? Yeah. Yes, yeah. You, yeah so since he's going to kill the at, two, you nets out at zero. Well, actually, I only killed one, right? Because one goes oh, back yeah. to the board. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just the one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you just lose one. Then, yeah. All right, and then I'm going to, for my last action, I will... Or wait, why'd you take those from Buried Giant? The campaign was oh, up yeah. in Salt Flats. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I... Yeah, just swap them back. Yep. Oh, yeah, from, for my last action, I'm going to trade for favor, or for secrets. Okay. Oh, and don't forget to drop some more band. Or I guess you don't have to. Uh... It's, I think it's in my best interest. Probably a good idea. Uh, yeah. I mean, even with the narrow pass, like it's it's pretty safe up there. Or well, I guess not too much because you can attack. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm I'm thinking too hard about it. 
All right, and then I'll just clean up here. Order this over. This goes to my lab. Go. And I think we're looking good. Okay. Yeah. Well, personally, I think that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> You would. And you know what? The people can eat it. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Oh. Well, it has to go to the, the yeah, one. It has to go to the lowest. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Sorry. All right. And then um, I will flip a secret to go back here. Welcome. Um, I will then trade the, the bloody ramparts <laughs> for these two, and I will then muster with the envoy to get some more warbands. Then I will. Campaign just for the salt flats. Okay, and that, yeah, that'll be three then for me. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be, what do I have here? And it will be uh, plus two. What's plus two? Uh, it'll be whatever I roll plus two for the. Oh, plus two. Yeah, right, right. And then I've got seven, so I'm going to roll. Five. Can I? Sorry, can I add my citizens' warbands to this force since yes, I'm here? Yes, you can aid this time because uh, you were there. Yeah, oh, I would like to add my three warbands to the force. Oh, oh you, you guys, you guys <laughs> are so bad. All right, so that's going to um, be five plus. So five. does that mean that I can then? Use my rangers? No, it doesn't add any nope. dice, unfortunately. It doesn't add any dice. You can, to be clear, oh, you can still use right, yeah. rangers to ignore just skulls. Just... You just won't get the plus yeah. two. Yeah, yeah. Might be worth it just to avoid the skulls. True. All right, so yeah, I'll do that. Especially because I guess he could activate his cursed cauldron, and we don't want that. Oh, yeah, we should yeah. do that. That sounds good. Yeah. So... Uh, oh, you guys are ruining the whole play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, a question with the cursed cauldron in this case is: it will those be going to you or to me if uh, we're victorious? I think it's if you are victorious. If I guess I as a, it goes would... to the empire, so I guess it'd go to me. I would assume it would go to you. That would be my guess. Okay. Yeah. If we're all in agreement, then that's yeah. how that works out. Ah. Uh, I'm already too deep in this to roll it back, so I have to keep going. But this is not turning out the way that I <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I'm though because of that, I'm gonna start with seven. Seven, and, and then, then you get an extra one for longbows. Yeah. And I will be ignoring skulls. I've got seven on my board, and so now you all are up to. The highest I could roll would be eight. Without the roll, what do you have, though? Without the roll, you have one and then three. So is that? Uh, four? Well, I have actually two at the site because I still also get the bandit one with the bandit crown. Right. Plus this, so three. Plus the three on his. Well, board, you so get six. the bandit with. The, you get the bandit when you have. Uh... Yes. Yeah, you get plus one to all sites, including empty ones. Ah, uh, got it. So yeah, that'll be just... whatever I roll plus six. So the highest I could really get is fourteen. Which, if you okay. roll really well, you should still be able to beat. Yeah. All right, let's go for this. All right, let's do it. Especially since you ignore skulls, you have plenty to sacrifice. Yeah. And okay, I got six, uh, twelve. Oh. And so you so, have. Um, yeah. Four, four, six. Four, so you would need six. to get rid of all seven. 
which means you can't take the site and I will still rule it. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and they're going to get war bands no matter what happens. Well, you can get rid of all of your war bands and they gain none, and they keep the rampart, or you can kill three and they get three. They get three. Yeah, yeah. because you would have to kill off oh, three, right, 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 have to kill three. So I'd get three, and I would still maintain it. Or you could basically kill off the one that's there and then kill off your whole force, but then I don't real I don't really get anything out of it. Hmm. Kill off the one there. Kill my whole force. I'm gonna do that. Okay. So yeah, that would kill this one. And it will kill one of the ones over here. Um, hmm. So we still rule that site, but it is pretty tenuous. Uh-huh. So I will then move. Mm hmm to the narrow pass and I will muster I will then spin the map to get four supply damn And so then I will move back. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? And it's not going to be very much in your favor. You had a chance before, but now, <coughs> now it's very unlikely. And... I would say it's better to hop out to the provinces and just spend a turn mustering. You know, you could head back Actually, you know what? Can, I, can, I go, can I back that up a little bit? Sure. Yeah. I, yeah, I go back here. Please go back. I've got my four. I will then spend two. Sorry, I've got four. I'll spend two to travel. Well, actually, you would have five because you did the, the four after you traveled. So if you're taking the travel back, right. then you would have five. All right. To go here. And then from there, I'll muster on Rowdy Pub to get, what is it, four? Five. Three. Get three. One extra. Or three. Three. Wait, why? I'm going the wrong direction. Still thinking. Okay. And it still costs you a supply to do that. Yeah. And then I will spend two to go back to my home in the very giant. Retreat. Retreat. That was horrible. <laughs> it was so I like started off like and just it just did not work out. <laughs> I mean, you gave it a shot at least, you know? It just did not work out. It's so often, it really just comes down to the die rolls. You know, you could yeah. have a, a great force, but... It, if you don't have enough to guarantee a victory... Oh, and don't forget, Rangers has a favor on it still. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's roll this purple die. This is a five or a six. Game ends here and friend will win. So here we go. Let's see it. It's one. Oh. <laughs> we keep going. Round seven. All right. Is this where we see the empire? 
Crumble. Oh, crumble well, Empire. I have crumble. Empire ideas. go after the Empire. Yes. All right. I'm going to use Pied Piper, which in this case, I will just flip it to make things easier. And I am going to use it on red. Of course you are. Take a couple favor. Then I'm going to recover the people's favor with all four. Mm, yeah, I'll hang on to one just in case. So we're going to drop four on that. And then these are going to go out to, let's go Beast Nomad Discord. Can I, can I, there we go. And yes, Discord. All right. I'll be right back, you guys. Yeah, no prop. All right, so that brings me up to three. I need one more relic somehow. Again, uh, oh, you, you just flipped a secret for your uh, for the for Pied Piper. Yeah, yeah, so you can't grab the the darkest secret. That is true. Mm, and White already got rid of his book. Hmm. I could campaign against you. Would not be easy though. Hmm, because yeah, I'd need. Eh, I'd need to spend quite a bit just to even get over there. For the narrow pass, you rule it, right? Or no, that's campaign. And you got. Yeah. Never mind. I'm just. You would have to travel into the narrow pass. Yeah, I'm just thinking incorrectly out loud. Unless you yeah. want to move to the buried giant. You could bury, move to the buried giant for two and then flip a secret and get there. Uh, yeah, but I really... But then you don't have you don't have the juice to campaign, so... Yeah, and I honestly, I really need to muster, I think. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, so I'm going to pop down... Pop down to the Fertile Valley so that I can... Campaign, or rather, muster at the Rowdy Pub. Oh, hold on, gotta get that there. There we go. And I am going to use Spirit Snare to take from oh, oh, Arcane, no, Beast. Beast is good. And I will save the last one to go right up there. That is the end of my turn. I'll just do my cleanup here. And it is Badger. What do you got? Oh, also, uh, before I moved, I will say I took these from the step to my board. It's leaving it mighty vulnerable. It is leaving it a little vulnerable, but... Mm, actually, yeah, I'll only take two. I'll leave one. Guess I have to decide what I want to do with my life here. <laughs> yeah, this could be your last turn. And honestly, the only ways you could really win right now would be getting a vision and activating it now, or getting Oathkeeper in this turn. And there is a vision in the cradle. That's true. Yeah, if you're able to fulfill a vision and none of us are able to stop you, you could win next turn, presuming we don't win it and get the roll. Hmm. 
<laughs> Pied Piper does me no good. <laughs> but Charming Friend does me some good. So. Ah, yes, yes. I will Charming Friend you. Okay. Bend the supply and muster with the roughnecks. I do like that the peaceful, pleasant, fertile valley just has the, the, the rowdiest dudes. Yeah. Just brawling every night. I love the, the combination I want to see so bad, but it hasn't happened yet, is I want a site that has rowdy pub and a gambling hall. Gambling hall, yes. Ooh, just yeah. the just the party zone. You do okay. you, you do the gambling hall, and then you muster on the rowdy pub, and uh, ideally you'd also have press gangs so that you could just <laughs> muster, oh, muster, Lord. muster. Well, I'm going to do this because it sounds like it's going to be fun to do. I'm going to campaign against the chancellor for the bandit crown. Okay, yeah, that's that's <laughs> may as well at this point. Um. Yep. Okay. And, uh, uh, I will see. use them all, and I will activate my field promotion. All right. So I get three. Uh, I get six. Yeah. No. Wait. No, I don't rule that site. What am I thinking? I get. No, you get the. I get four, four. Three for the crown and one for the oath keeper. Okay. Yeah. So I get four plus Eight, six, which are on my board. Eight, nine. Oh boy. My empire is so full, yet no battle plans. All right. We're ready to roll. All right. Let's go. I got five, so I have Ooh. 11, and you have seven, nine. So you. Yeah. So first I lose two. And then I have to Lose kill three. Three, yeah. I'll do it. Oh boy! All right. Which I believe might change the oathkeeper situation here. Whoops! Come on, get in the in the bag. There we go. So it's still it... three against four. It looks like. Uh, yeah. He gets yeah one, two, three, four. Yes. Oof, now the step really is pretty thinly defended. Oh boy. Okay, I did that. That means it's going to be even harder to get Renda the successorship. Ah, that's the big thing. I get I get the I get 3 back for winning. Right. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, that's the big thing anytime your chancellor in a game with citizens is like you have to focus on just hanging on to Oathkeeper for the first couple turns, and by then the citizens have already gotten themselves in a position where it's going to be difficult to ever supplant them. Oh, boy. I mean, you still have a decent amount of... uh. of uh war bands and supply so you could theoretically attack my pawn and another site i'm going to spend two to travel okay let me Yeah, I'm going to spend two to travel. Okay. I'm going to use Wild Allies mm. campaign against the Narrow Pass for no supply. 
Okay. Nice. Four, six, seven, I've got. Okay, and are you just attacking the narrow pass, or are you going to add anything else to that? I, I think I... Well, can I? Mm. Campaign at any site with a... Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah. Yeah, it's just basically acting like you were over here, but you can still add other right. targets. I mean, you only need one, I think. Yeah? No, then you'd be tied, so yeah, you need two to uh, take Oathkeeper. We'll go also for the. Oh, you took the uh, taking the bandit. I've crown. got the bandit crown. Yeah, so I don't have the I, rampart. Oh would, no! Right. Oh no! I'm in mu much more trouble than I thought. Okay, so yeah, if you if you go against the narrow pass and the step, that would give me three. That would be pretty doable. Okay. Well, if I get the narrow pass, that's one, two, three, four, right? Uh, oh, it is. Actually, yeah, I'll you could just do the narrow I'm pass. I will just do the narrow pass. That's all I'm going to do. All right, so that gets me... I've got seven. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that gives me two. Oh, boy. Two plus two. Okay. And I don't have any money to do the thing again, so... That's unfortunate, but here we go. Here we go. It's... Uh, nothing. So my two, you definitely. Yeah, but I, I lose three. Yeah, but you you get the narrow pass, and you you keep the oath. And I won't put I won't put anything there. All right, you don't need to. With that bandit crown. Okay. Uh, I still have one supply left. I don't have anything to use to trade though. Hmm. So, I will take back my secret. Take back my secret. Spirit Bear in the chat, which I'm pretty sure is Orinoco, who was not able to join us, uh, said, should have gone for more sites. I mean, uh, I think that's enough. That gets him to Oathkeeper. And it, it's around it gets me to Oathkeeper, and I, I just don't want to be... I just didn't want to be naked, so... Yeah. To be clear, he has the bandit crown. So, right now, yeah. he has, uh... I've got four. The entire cradle. Oi. That's true. He says, uh, gets him to Oathkeeper, but doesn't help him keep it. So, it, yeah. it, it is a bit loose. I... I don't know if I was going to keep it regardless, but... Well, we'll see. It comes down to friend yeah. here. I wasn't going to take it from you. Yeah. I just wish I had more uh, more actions to muster. Yeah, you'll get more supply this next turn. I was able to save some, but unfortunately nothing I can do for you right now. Uh, Spirit Bear says again, it's him versus the Empire right now. If he goes for two to three sites and wins, it's more of a knockout punch. Which is true, yeah. If you did that, there's really no coming yeah. back. We still have a shot. It, it'll be tricky, but there's still a chance. Whereas, if you just gone for that, you you pretty much would have would have clinched it. Hmm. I'm going to spend one supply to trade for favor. I'll give me three. Nice. Yeah, I'm surprised I've been mm. able to do all right this game with just no advisors for most of it. 
muster and let's see so if i just take the salt flats where does that leave us that would leave us tied tied which isn't enough okay yeah uh, so I guess I gotta go for that and the narrow pass. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, uh Spirit Bear also said going for just enough leads to Oathkeeper going back and forth the whole game, which not not the whole game, but yeah, it's definitely hopped back and forth between me and Red the whole time. Yeah, so I'm gonna campaign against the salt flats and the narrow pass. Right, right. Uh, That's I'm committing all four warbands. I'm activating Rain Boots and Cursed Cauldron. All right. I have five dice. One for each, plus the Rampart is makes it two for each, and the Keeper. Yep. Okay. Let me get this out of the way then. It's going to be tight, but he could still roll the blanks. So then I've got this plus two, and I, I ignore the single shields. So yep. Yeah. So if he, get, if he gets a lot of times twos and double shields, we're out of luck. But all single shields and blanks, come on. Ready? Yep. Oh, let's see it. Okay, so that's four. It's four. Plus but I only got two hits. Two, six. So you would have to get rid of five. Ah, yeah. oh, no. We can't do it. Ah, oh, man. That's damn. Sucks. So that's uh. All right. I'm always shocked because so, uh, it's very common that you'll want to do one more action than you can on your turn. They clearly play tested very tightly, so that you can never quite do everything you want to. But I also notice that very often you have just like one less warband than you need in campaigns that are risky like that like that's very tightly uh orchestrated too man that sucks i appreciate you trying at least i mean it would have been <laughs> your win regardless so right uh yeah that's all i got for now okay so nb so no no die roll no die roll <laughs> So yeah, here's mm. here's the situation. Red Red's gonna become usurper and probably win next round unless Well I guess Unless you wanna take that bandit crown, really. Yeah, you could take the bandit crown, or if you take Oathkeeper, then you will win next round. So keep that in mind. You could also uh reveal that vision. That would that would definitely help things out. For you. Yeah. Presuming it's one you can would. fulfill. It definitely would. Um, I need to think through, like, okay, how much supply? Okay. I'm oh, sorry, I gotta clean up a little bit. No worries. Also, White, uh, did you flip this on your last turn? Or was this between turns? Mm, no, that should be face that's, that's, Yeah, that should be face-up. Okay. Definitely. That was... Oh, that's reminding me that I need to... Oh, no, wait. Who took my people's favor? Who stole I did. my people's I, favor? I took the people's favor. Oh, no. Well, it's good. I didn't... I wasn't going to give him any money anyway. I was hoping to knock down friend, but it ended up not mattering. Um... Okay. So then... Another thing I really appreciate about Kyle's artwork on this game is he recognizes where the effort should be put so like the player boards the cards they all look great but then if you zoom in on the map it's like the most like kindergarten 
little like just box with a triangle kind of houses and stuff. They're just spread out, but it's like you're only going to be looking at them from a distance anyway, so they look <gasps> fine enough as just a background detail. And just like the color is so I think that's beautiful. The, that's the major thing is his color work is so solid that even when the line work is a little more rudimentary, it still looks great. I'm going to go two to travel here. Okay. And then I will trade with, which one doesn't really matter. Yeah, you could, uh, while you're there, you could trade anywhere in the region. I could trade anywhere. That's right. So I can do... Anywhere in the provinces. Yeah. I can do here to get two out of beast. And then... Man, where are we at? Where, oh yeah, this is it, right? This is getting close. Okay, so I will put one on each of these to muster twice. And then, so that, oh no, I can't do both, sorry. I can only do one. I only have enough supply for one of those. So bring this back. That puts me up to five. And your supply track goes back down one, right? No, I think I already got it. I think I have one left. I mean, I just have two left. Okay. Okay. That's where I'm at. And then I'm going to campaign. Campaign. For two sites, the Salt Flats. I mean, the step and the deep woods. Okay, to be clear, Red has Oathkeeper right now. I know. Okay, okay, just making sure. <laughs> just making sure. So you ain't getting too much from us by doing that, but it's it's your choice. All right, so you're going step um, and deep woods, so that would give us two dice. Two dice to my five. I'm going to... Pay the one to ignore skulls. Sure. And I'm going to roll five dice total. How many do you have? You have four defenders, right? Uh, no, I, I no, don't even have a bandit crown. I just defenders. have two. That's right. You, you have two so defenders. best I can so, really get here is six defense. Yeah. So I will roll, yeah, I roll five dice total. All right. Ignoring all skulls. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, so that's five. Uh, you have four there, so you got to get rid of two. Two. Yeah. I'll take those two. All right. Plus losing the one for the skull, right? Oh, oh no, no, you ignore yeah. skulls. Never mind. With the, yeah. with the ranger... And then I will plop one here and one here. Oh boy, that's no good. <laughs> oh boy. And I'm just going to put this out for fun. Ah. Yeah. That could have that could have done it for no, you. Oh, not yet. Yeah. Just for fun. It just actually puts a lot of pressure on you. To do, you have to do a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Well, yeah. We're not gonna get a roll this turn, so just hop on over to round eight. You can do your cleanup. I am going to contemplate what in the heck to do. Um. Do we rule one site? We do rule one site. We take all of uh, white sites. Oh, before uh, I forget, I gotta do the people's exactly. favor as well. Um, so I'm gonna drop that on which has the least arcane or beast. Actually, I'm gonna put in beast. 
I left you one site. Well, yeah, I, I appreciate that. Um, okay. So, Red currently has four sites. So, to take it... To take it, yeah, we definitely to take have to go after Red here. Three sites. He has two that are not so bad, but he also has Sprawling Ramparts specifically. You should go after Sprawling Ramparts. That's what you need to do. Mm, well, I'm definitely going to want to. Well, actually, Black should do that since Black is already there. I certainly could take the sprawling ramparts or the, the salt flats by myself in theory. Okay. Um, but that being said, he, his turn is in between hours. Uh, Spirit Bear says, looks like I got back just in time for the finale. And don't forget you can campaign for free. Can I? Huh? So you can uh, break it up uh, in a smaller ca Oh, right, with the wild allies. So you could go for the narrow pass. I could go the for the least. narrow pass and then more. Okay, in that case... But you're I'm still gonna... spending the two supply to travel there. Well, yeah. First thing I want... Well, we rule it, so I don't need to. Oh, that's right. Uh, I'm going to use Spirit Snare. Take this, and I'm going to immediately use it to muster at the Rowdy Pub. So that's going to be one there, which gets me three. And I want to head up there anyways. One, two, to pick up two more of my guys. Which gets me a total of, what is this? Hold on, give me. That is 10. And then, yeah, I'm going to use Wild Allies. Uh, in a second. First, I'm going to trade and muster one more time since Wild Allies will let me campaign for free. So I'll trade with the Discord. And then I'm just going to muster on Relic Breaker. So that'll be the last of my supply, which I don't need it. I don't need it after this anyways. Uh, wait, nope, nope, just two. Hold on, I got to put one of those back. Whoops, come on. Come in. Whatever, that gets me 12. So. And you want to do that yeah. instead of campaigning at the Narrow Pass and then doing like a general campaign? Uh, yeah, I think 12. 12 should okay. be good. So I'm going to use Wild one. Allies to target the Narrow Pass and the Fertile Valley. That'll give us three. Then we'll only need one more. So yeah, I am going to target the Narrow Pass. Fertile Valley. I'm going to use all 12 dice for safety. Or, well, no, you don't have rain boots anymore. I was going to say maybe do salt flats so that you can jump in on that, but it's just fine. I mean, if you want to jump in on salt flats, I have Cursed Cauldron. That is true. Well, I'm not going to get much out of it since this is my last turn. Hmm. Uh, I mean, you could, I mean, the warbands you get, you could lay out onto the map. Oh, that is true. Uh, well, I'll need to attack Narrow Pass as well anyways. So I'm just going to attack the two cradle sites. Yeah. In that case, so you one. get five. Uh, wait, are you going to be able to campaign against Fertile Valley? Yeah. Okay, okay. Just double checking, because we need to take at least one more if we want that Oath Keeper. All right. This is big. Uh, this is, I this believe is in you, Red. I for believe all the beans in, in the can, let's do it. Times two, times two, times two. No, blank, blank, blank. Please. And yes, I'm activating Curse Cauldron. To be clear. All right, Red. What do you got? You got six Ooh, plus two. Six. 
So that's eight, and I got two, uh, the four, seven, eight, nine, ten already. So I lose one guy, and I win the campaign. Excellent. Uh, so you get two war bands from the bandits. Nice. Can we get kill two of them? So that gets me back everything. And yeah, I'm just going to drop. <laughs> going to drop all my guys. Arrow pass. Uh, self flats. And the planes. Okay, and that is my turn. I'll clean up here. And still not a single advisor to your name. No, I had that one for a little bit. I pretty much immediately got rid of it. All right, hop up here. And that is Red's turn. Uh, which means you are Usurper. I was not able to take it away from you quite yet. But. Yeah. Or no. I have more than you, but I'm tied. Hold on. Uh, Spirit Bear in the chat will be able to answer this. Uh. Bandits normally couldn't be... Oh, right, yeah, the bandits can't be killed, so actually two of my guys wouldn't be there, so I'll just say the narrow pass ones. That's another part of the thing, but Orinoco in the chat. Um, so I do now rule more sites than the current Oath Keeper, but I'm tied with white for sites. So do I yeah, become I... Oath Keeper? I, I think it stays where it is if no one has the most. Well, it wouldn't okay, stay with the person who's currently losing is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. It couldn't flip to Usurper, so it's either me or the Chancellor. I'm guessing it's probably the Chancellor, but... Oh, previous, nice previous Oath Keeper chooses the tie. Oh. Oh, so, okay. Oh Badger said hey, he's... I'm sorry, guys. I had to take a call. I'm back. No yeah, I'm, worries. I'm pretty sure I get to... I'm pretty sure you, I get to choose. Yeah, you get to choose. So do you want it to go to me or to White? Well, I'm pretty sure I want it to go to White. So. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. So, White becomes Oath Keeper. Can White still win with by Oath Keeper if they have a vision? Uh, yes. They they c could win by Usurper, but unfortunately, not not they win by, Well, my I have the vision that's pre preempts the, the Oath. That's keeper, true. So if you could take enough sights for that vision, you could win this. Yep. As long as you don't lose Oath Keeper. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Shoot, so Badger, I that. Badger, I will say if you I don't know how you can how we can do this, but if we can if I win this, you you can be a citizen for sure. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I have no suggestions for how to to make this happen, but yeah. Oh right. Uh, Spirit Bear in the chat points out uh, they will get Usurper this round because once it gets to your wake phase, you'll become Usurper. So if we can't take that from yeah. you, you will win outright regardless. Oh, yeah. oh boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess Red, if you really want wanted him to be Oath Keeper, then you're going to want to want to do everything you can to help him. Um, oh, yeah, and the uh, favor on rangers should go to the bank. So this is this is the last this is the last Not chance. Fair. The last yeah, chance. Yeah. So if he can hold, he can become the new chancellor. Which. No, I. Uh, no, I shouldn't say that. Well, I guess. OK, I'm, I want to say it in the kindest way. I didn't expect you to win. I guess, because you were so far <laughs> out of all of the conflicts for the most part. Like, you were... I'm not saying that you were do doing badly. It's just you were so... Uh, you were definitely not being focused game. on. I was, I was playing a different game. 
<laughs> yeah, and I guess it worked. <laughs> I guess that's that's always a great strategy is not making yourself a target so that you can just swoop in at the end when everybody else has destroyed each other. Oh boy. That's actually why I played that vision up face up was just to so that I would get the double default because I knew you guys were gonna have to go after each other. And right. so if you brought not enough, then there was gonna oh. be a double default. <laughs> Alright, Badger. What's the plan? Citizen, future citizen. <laughs> Let's wrap this up, right? I don't even know how you can help me, though. Other than, like, sacrificing your war bands to take one of their sites. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you could that, somehow... If he did well, that... First thing I'm going to do is hide Piper, because that's okay. what I have to do. So, yep. there you go. Okay. I'll just take this and flip it face down right away. Uh, sure. Um. There's no way for Exile to just like like leave a site right to like remove their war bands from the site no you the have to band, right you have to yeah. always leave at least one unless you have bandit crown then right you can pick up whatever you get <sighs> which you could which you could do i'm gonna hail mary this i'm gonna search oh. the world deck for oh oh <laughs> right, you still have the darkest secret. Ah, no visions. No, no vision. Not wow. Even underneath that, wow. It's been a while since I've seen a game where there weren't at least four visions drawn. Well, we didn't draw from the world deck in like the last three rounds. Yeah, I did play one game where it, it ended incredibly fast, um, because there was a six roll, but. Uh, nobody drew from the world deck, so we only had what was in the discards. And it was a three-player mm. game, so that meant, like, nine cards between us. It, it was very, very barren. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this guy. I'm going to put this guy down. Mm. Yeah, you have a decent shot at the planes. You'd get that extra die. <laughs> yeah, we'd only get two dice for the planes because we still have the rampart, but don't have the uh, oath keeper. And if you took one of our sites, even if we took either of yours, White would get to decide which of us it went to. So that'd be pretty rough. You'd have to take at least two sites in that case. Hmm.
the spirit snare. I will muster. I will campaign. Oh boy. All right. And I'm going to go Wait, wait, wait. Let me think about this. I mean Wait. Well, no, I shouldn't be giving you advice. You're going to attack me. I'm going to campaign. I'm going to go for the planes and I'm going to go for the narrow pass. Oh boy. Oh, uh, something to keep in mind is uh, Spirit Bear in the chat says the odd thing here is if is if uh, that red takes more than one sight, he hands the Empire the win. Would he? That's, yeah, because you wouldn't be able to win, so the Empire wins by default. Default. So basically, yeah. if you take two sight, you, if you take one sight, you and white will be tied, and he doesn't lose it. So that's how that works? You only win if you're usurper, not oathkeeper, as an exile? Yes. Yeah, yes. Either you either have to be a visionary, or a usurper. If you're oath keeper, it's just ignored as an exile. Interesting. So yeah, I guess just go against the planes and just fortify it to death. No, or Hail Mary is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa, there it is. There's a vision. There it is. Vision of faith. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh, no, the there's Mary. no way. <laughs> that oh, is crap. Mary. Unless one of us gets the conspiracy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, okay, but keep in mind, Usurper still wins ahead of Visions. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's out of supply. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Shoot. That great. So yeah, it comes down to red or white. That, we have to pick. Can I be a citizen? If we if either one of us win this <laughs> If either one of us wins, I yeah. Okay, that is crazy, crazy. Fair. So Okay. Um how um, many secrets? I still have one There's supply only... left. There's only yeah, two. He has one supply left. Hmm. There's only two secrets on the darkest secret. So we could yeah. campaign for that, but then white wins for sure. I think I got something. Okay, okay. I try. I'll, I'll I'll leave this to you. You don't have much choice in that. <laughs> oh, trusted general. <laughs> I leave it to you, Space President Foxman. Oh, here's something maybe stupid, but what the hell. Okay, I'm going to spend one to trade. Spirit Bear says, I wonder if I should just keep quiet. I'm going to spend one to trade here for a secret. Now, we appreciate your comments, Spirit Bear. It's very helpful. I'm sure if you had joined this game, you'd probably be well ahead by now. I did my best to keep your empire alive, but it was for naught. 
You see how much faith he has in you, friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. I mean, I feel like I'm better equipped to uh, I just, lead this I've, I, I can't envision your plan, so I trust you, but at the same time, I have having hope. It's been so long since I hoped for anything. Pretty simple at the end of the day. Red, are you doing anything else? Yep. I'm going to campaign oh against the narrow pass. Oh, narrow no. Pass. Oh, I forgot that was an option. That's bad. <laughs> that's, that's, oh boy, that's pretty bad. So I've got, I've got six. I can't pay for my okay, and mercenaries, so get, but that's okay. We get two. So it'll be tight, but that's possible. Uh, okay. Whenever you're ready. One. Three. So that's four versus one, two, three, four, five. Ah, Whoa. you win it. So I have to kill one. Yeah. All right, now red and white are tied. So uh, is, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just going to leave it empty. Oh, for real? Uh huh. I mean, you have the bandit crown, so yeah. I've got the bandit crown, so. So this goes there. So Oathkeeper, right you're tied. Uh, do you want you or Red to have the Oathkeeper? I think he he hangs on. I keep it, I keep it now because I'm. He's got the. Technically, he's at a tie, team. he has the choice, but I don't know why he would choose. Why he would choose himself. to give it? Yeah, I'm keeping it. All right. Uh, Spirit Bear says, if Black takes Oathkeeper, then that would turn off the visions because o Empire is Oathkeeper supersedes the visions yeah. yeah yes yes so oh boy but you gotta have to take two take two well i mean narrow pass and fertile valley are pretty pretty uh thin okay uh well my original plan was i wanted to pick up some more bands with your permission oh definitely okay I see no reason not to at this point. Um, I should have just dumped them all into Narrow Pass. But. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh... Trade to favor. Muster. Nobody's got any favors sitting around. It's so sad. So yeah. I can scoop some up. All my favors gone to the people. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm going to spend one on tents, just on the off chance it matters. Yeah. And then I will... Campaign. All right. So I want to target Narrow Pass and Fertile Valley. 
All right, so red gets two dice. And Using all six here. Yeah, that's that's possible. It's gonna be tight. But uh, we got we a shot. Have any battle plans, do we? Are you gonna do curse cauldron? Yeah, I, I will activate curse cauldron. Okay, cool. All right. All right, I'm ready. Roll them bones. Okay, that's. Three, uh, that's five Oof. versus three, so you just need to sacrifice three to win. Yeah, I can do that. Do I get the, do I get bandit yet? Uh, no, the bandits are not killed. But I mean for defense. Yes, for defense. yeah, so it was, it was three, so that was five, and he rolled a three, so he needed to sacrifice three to get the six. So this one comes back. All right, I do get one more band from that. Oh, did that one die? Yeah, no, I was... just had one on the board, so... You don't get anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, so out of the three, um, you still need to kill one. Since you did have three, and you can't kill your bandits. All right, dump some guys out there. On that narrow pass in Fertile Valley. That means we receive the oath. Yeah, which turns <laughs> off Usurper. Okay. This is always my plan. Always yeah. was the plan. Well, I mean the visions could still be done if you can if you can take Oathkeeper back. You won't be able to win by that, but you could still win by conquest. Or mm -hmm. Red could win by faith. For my last action, I'll trade uh, with Beast. Yeah, sure. Oh, steal my money, too? That's horrible. <laughs> horrible. Spirit Bear says uh, the Red Warband gets killed, but it doesn't matter at this point. And for future reference, that is the downside of using bandits as your soldiers. Yep. Is that, yeah, you just have to kill off any of your non bandit soldiers. I think I have two. I don't have. I think. Did Red, did you leave a secret on the map somewhere? I feel like I have too many. I don't think I did. I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter. Yeah, no. No, it's all good. So if you take one site, you'll have four. That's true. You'll have three. Yeah, that's all I got to do. And then, uh, then you'll win. Another vision. Yeah, that your was vision good. supersedes one mine. One site. Yep. One site yeah. of your choice. That was the plan all along. Can you it do Agnes it? All along. <laughs> it was Agnes all along. <laughs> Is that how the song went? Spoilers. <laughs> um, okay, how am I going to do this, though? So I'm first going to trade with Beast, with my poor Beast, for the one the poor favor. Although... To be clear, it wasn't all along. The vast majority of things that that character did yes, didn't you're, even you're, really you're have correct. an effect. So, great song. Un in but also very, also, also very applicable here, yes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so that's one. I've got to get to some place to campaign. And where should I do so? I'm gonna, well, can I do this? I could do that. Actually, that, um, no, actually, ah, I can't do that. Oh? The Fertile Pub, or Fertile Pub, Fertile Valley. Yes, that's the place to go. So if I go, if I try, yeah. If I go to the Rowdy Pub, I can get three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can get three from that. And if you trade, you may as well trade your last secrets. Yeah, I'm going to so trade they... that for one more, and I can muster yeah. twice. Because you need that for your rangers. Wait, yeah. uh, no. whose, whose secret is this? Yeah. Which one? This it's not mine. mine. That's mine. That's what I did for the beast. Using the map guy. Yeah. Uh, Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. So then I get one here. Then. Uh, yeah. If you just hop down. Go down here. And I can trade. I mean, monster here for three. So now, still not great, but let's see. I mean, you got enough supply for another muster. Did I do that? Oh, no, I didn't. Didn't I? I was a here. Wait, I did. You were there. Tra Hold on. Travel. Hold on. Muster. You, had, you did this. Travel cost Tra two. Traded. I think. Traveled. Muster. Mustered. Okay, yeah, so yeah. you can't muster again. I can't muster again, no. But you still can campaign. Yes, I have to campaign. Okay, so that's, we get three. For defense. And, oh, if only you got one more. <laughs> All right, so I will get four, and then I'm going to take one for five. Um, I will pay to ignore skulls. You may as well. Uh, I mean, you're not going to be able to use that later. Is there anything else that I have? I think that's it. That's this it. is it. Get the exact right die roll here. Yep. It all comes down to this. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oof. Wow. Three. So that's five. Six. Seven. Seven. Yep. You get it. I did it. Yes. You did it. And you ignore the skulls, <laughs> so you can just drop all your guys there. Yes. <laughs> oh, right at the last second. That was great. Photo finish. Wow. Yeah. So, yep. Uh, no usurpers. We're not Oathkeeper. And then visions. Uh, oh, actually, we should check what the hierarchy of visions is to see if it's Conquest is first. Conquest first, yeah. Conquest first. So, yeah, you win that. Good job. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Yeah, Spirit Bear says, with just one warband left. <laughs> wow. That is, that is very impressive. All right. Whew. That's Let's great. see. So this, I believe, is going to be... Yes, this is going to be ruined, so we got to flip this out. And then you have your guys all at the sites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spirit Bear says GG. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's save it in case it glitches out as it... Sometimes mm -hmm. will. Castles in the sky. Game eight. End. Saved. Okay. And then we will declare the winner. Uh, there's nothing floating around, is there? Uh, Pied Piper is not floating. Cool. All right. Declare winner. The winner is white. Confirmed. Uh, you don't have any relics. No relics. You used a yes. vision, and yeah, you used conquest. conquest. And red gets citizenship. Yes. As y'all agreed. <laughs> Done. Confirm. And you want to add beast or order? Beast. The beast held me out this time. All right. Confirm. Oh, it glitched nice. out. All right, I'll just run back through that. Oh. This is why you save it, because sometimes they'll do this nonsense. And it's going to take it. It doesn't always like loading. Come on. Come on. I'm not going to lie. I thought I had that in the bag. I know. I'm, I'm very it, impressed. Was, by turn six, it seems like the Empire had it, and then just out of nowhere, White White really got it. <laughs> all right. That turn before, I was trying, the turn where I lost it all, that was like... Heartbreaking, but at the same time, it was just enough to like make you. That's why I dropped it to make you work for it more to yeah. keep you working. <laughs> All right, let's try the skin. There we go. Yeah. All right, export the chronicle. Uh, nice. Stream viewers can see it on stream. So if if y'all want to read that, it I'll just to toss in chat. Why not? So if you copy and paste that into this module by hitting. Import Chronicle, you can play the next game in that Chronicle. Or if you join the Woodland Warriors Discord, which, uh, Spirit Bear, if you could grab an invite link to that and drop it in the chat, please, um, you can play along with us. You could even be on the stream sometime. Like, I, I just ask everybody who's in the, the Woodland Warriors Discord if they want to be on the stream game. So, yeah, 
you can learn the game. I have a how to play video that I've made and all that. So good game. That that yeah, that really came down to the wire. It the last two turns really like really changed everything. No, great game. Really good really great game. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Or oops. I needed to get my vision out faster and yeah. But so much started happening that you, I, I didn't feel like I could spend the, the energy <laughs> searching for more visions. I love that you called that Hail Mary to get it. That was great. That was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really good place from everybody, I feel like. Totally. Uh, sorry, Spear Fair, I forgot. Uh, if you're not mod, you can't do a link. That's my bad. So this is, this is the link. If you guys follow that, you can join the Woodland Warriors Discord, which is the official sort of play testing server you can get a role and play any of the leader games root oath fast for they're all pretty active lfgs except for vast i i joined that one recently because i got the physical game and yeah the last time somebody tried to get a game of vast going in there was like months ago it's not a very popular game but i i, I will i will try and stream some of it i'll see if i can get get them in there for a stream game sometime so yeah, thanks. Thanks for being part of the stream, guys. Thanks for playing. Definitely a great game. Thanks, everybody. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I hope you all have a good weekend. You too. You too. All right, and I'm gonna drop into the legacy chat. All that business come up. Uh or whoops, I forgot. I'll do that later. I don't need to do that right now. But uh yeah. Wow, very good game. So I wanna thank you all for watching whether it's in the past, wait, past, present, or future. If you missed the beginning of this stream or you want to watch any of my past streams, which include a lot of games of Oath and other tabletop games, you can check the past broadcast tab, which has the last 60 days worth of streams, or you can check Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which is linked down below on the browser version, or just look up Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, four words, on YouTube, and that has all of my past streams since I did this about a year ago. My, my anniversary stream is going to be on Monday, so that's going to be fun. Um, if you want to catch any future streams, which include Tabletop and I do Oath every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, I have a schedule down below which says what game on what day, and I also have a more detailed schedule with the specific hour. If you click the lion icon and go to the schedule tab, it will tell you what hour and what game on what day, but that's all subject to change, so if you want to be sure you don't miss a stream, uh, follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid which is linked down below as well, and turn on notifications. I tweet a half hour before I go live, but hasn't always worked. One time it did not let me for whatever reason. So if you want to be sure you don't miss a stream, follow me, hit the heart icon, and turn on notifications in the Twitch app or for email or however you like it, and you'll get a notification as soon as I go live every time. So that's a great way to do it. Uh, you could also, if you are so kind, consider subscribing, which is uh, build monthly, different tiers. You get custom emotes that I have, which I think are pretty fun, and it would help out the channel a good deal. I do need to get some better equipment. This MacBook uh, almost exploded one time because I overworked it from streaming, so it would be good to get a proper gaming PC at some point. But regardless, I'd appreciate if you consider it, but even then, just watching, I really appreciate you guys for that, and I want to thank you once again for inviting me into your home, your computer, your phone, your tablet, your gaming console, your laptop, your Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch today, I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your day. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you'll join me tomorrow night for my Drop Mix DJ set, which is like a half-hour stream. Not really any talking or anything, just some fun sort of music mashup stuff with the uh, Harmonix Drop Mix board thing. It's like you, you put down cards and they have like NFC chips, kind of like Amiibo, and they have different parts of songs and you just kind of mash it up. It's fun. I have a couple streams of that that you can watch past broadcast tab or the archive channel, but that's at 8 Eastern. Hope you'll join me for that. I hope you consider subscribing and following. Both help a good deal. And hey, if nobody else has said this to you, I'll say this to you. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to raid you over to somebody who's live right now, but that's going to be it for me, so let me just go here and we're gonna go to ending that's all she wrote okay let me see uh da, 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 da. let's see who is live to raid over to just a moment we have ooh, a lot of people are live oh no 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 that's 
Nobody I'm following is live, but a lot of randos are live. Do I want to send y'all over to a rando? Ah. Uh, mm, nah, mm, well, maybe. Uh, okay. This is a rando, so I cannot vouch for uh, the quality of their stream or if they I necessarily support who they are. But uh, th this this is a smaller channel. Um, they're playing, or I don't think a smaller channel. They got like fourteen people watching. But this is Lazadar, and they're playing Bug Snacks. So I have not vetted the channel. So apologies if they they are you know distasteful or anything. But regardless, I I hope. You enjoy their stream, and I, uh, yeah, let them know I sent you. Have a great weekend, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Should be raiding in just a second. Hold on. Hold on, it's going. All right, here we go. Goodbye. Have a good weekend.